Right, hello YouTube. Uh, BMW have given us this uh, brand new S1000R naked um, just for me to have a quick spin on um, and uh, just a, a bit of an, an honest evaluation of what I think of it. Um, new model for this year. Uh, we have a lot to do with the the S1000RR sports bike and this thing is a, a super naked version of that um, so far it feels very 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 light um, very maneuverable it's basically the same but with some big boy handlebars on oh, I'm going to stuck behind traffic now it's got a few options on it it's got uh, the optional big screen and also a tank bag which typical of all BMW luggage I don't know who makes it for them but it was full of water and all the BMW luggage we've had so far um, on all, all products that they've had uh, fills it with water they've got like a roll bag inside but it's Feel like. It feels like something like a, a street triple to ride rather than a, a thousand cc bike. It's got all the gizmos on it, it's got traction control, it's got multiple damping modes um, which you can fit on the fly. It's got the HP4 suspension system on this one, uh, quick shifter, all the toys that you get on the S1000. Trips. Oh, the brakes are a bit uh, exciting. It's got new pads in it. Uh, although the tyres on it look like someone's had some fun with it on the track. Throttle response is something else. Big step forward over the uh, S1000. It's uh, same engine, but it's been reworked for more mid-range. License loser. Still so nimble and light. Bit like the S thousand, but the fiction is quite large. The operation. Brakes are absolutely phenomenal. It's got the latest generation. across the road yeah dash is similar to the S1000 but it is slightly different it's been simplified a little um, side stand's been beefed up that was a problem on the S1000 but it's not a particularly pretty bike and it's alright from some angles but others it is just well it's got a face only a mother could love Dogs are barking. Uh, yeah, so it's got the optional sport screen on it, which is, I don't know, you know, if you're going to have a naked bike, you don't really want a screen on it, but with the speed that this thing does, you probably want a little bit to take this wind blast off. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I, back end is different to the S1000. Um, it's narrower, right at the back end, but it's also, it seems a little bit deeper. And it's also the one piece plastics rather than being added under tray with a top cover on the uh, on the S1000. Um, it hasn't got a sports exhaust on this one but the standard exhaust, standard silencer is a straight through silencer anyway. Uh, all the silence is done in the, the catalytic box on the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't know what the, uh, this is a matte blue colour. It's a bit strange. Um, you know, just trying to do something different. 
generating a lot of heat, heat haze coming off it. I also don't know about this uh, white stripe, I presume it's supposed to be silver to match in with the, the silver side panel there, but it gets very grubby very quickly. Um, yeah, this was on Quantity Sport Attack 2s, um, which were a good rose tyre. Uh, and these ones look like they've had a bit of fun because they're a little bit puckered up. But, um, yeah, quick shifter. Um, yeah, you know, standard BMW S1000 affair. Nothing we've not seen before. Um, I've got this in dynamic mode. There's uh, various other modes. There's a, a rain, a road. Let's put it in road mode. As we're on the road. This is supposed to make the throttle response not quite as sharp. Um, give it a go! Oh, it just feels really small. Oh, two inch wheelie. Yeah, the uh, anti wheelie traction control rubbish. The nanny police, the fun police get involved. light throttle obviously you've got no physical cable connection it's all electronic which takes a little bit of getting used to um, but this one's quite quite progressive for a, a ride by wire obviously as the technology builds and builds it gets better and better and it filters its way down onto the street bikes mirrors are absolutely useless but which bikes aren't? Give it a bit of pain down here. Got to be quite a bit lighter than the uh, the S1000. Although the slipper clutch is a bit harsh in its engagement and release, very uh, not very progressive. You see that it's on on or off. Like the like it's, the ramps are sticking. Slight fueling glitch. If you want to get back on the throttle, it just fell into it then. Because I missed the gear. God, this is fast. in underneath the engine a little 
little bit difficult to locate. Stop going Superman there. Let's just pull it. Oh, it's got some pokey. It's a smile on your face. It's very efficient at what it does. This is a proper stick you out the seat bit to road this bit and uh, it's like a magic carpet. It's brilliant. That electronic damage control just seems to be working quite nicely. Get there. Slap on the uh, on the back as you go uh, over the bigger bumps but Brakes are amazing, no fade on them whatsoever. And we needed them then. Would I buy one? Probably not, because it is ugly. Who's second gear then? Got the nice <laughs> on the overrun. But it's not the riding position is very good. It's not in fact I'd say it's very very good actually. It's it's the ergonomics are, are pretty much spot on for me. Um foot pegs I think are a little bit lower than the sports bike than the S and R R. Um, the handlebars seem nice, they're not not too narrow like a most of the Japanese bikes haven't the handlebars are too narrow, these are a bit more manly uh, they're a pro, sort of a tapered bar flat in the middle give it a, an aggressive look because normally by now I'd, my shoulders would be complaining like nobody's business but uh, no, very good I like it just couldn't live with it um, and there's other things like, like the mirrors you know they're some kind of generic mirror that you get on lots of bikes the, the master cylinder just slapped on the top with a, you know they could have done so much more with it could have put a nice you know master smaller racing master cylinder on it Super stuff. Right, we're going to give it back now. Let someone else have a play. Well, so there you have it. That was a uh, a trouser bulge inducing half an hour on an S thousand R. Um, a bike that uh, can probably only best be described in expletives, uh, and that's just the looks of the thing. Performance, engine performance, uh, they seem to have really matched the engine performance with the electronics package on the bike, uh, particularly with the electronic suspension as well, the electronic suspension when it's in dynamic mode seems to work really well with the, the throttle response, the traction control uh, and the ABS braking, they all sort of work as one which is really really impressive. But it's a complete license loser. You'd, uh, I, I couldn't ride it. I got on this thing on my, on my Tiger and I thought it was broken. I opened the throttle and nothing happened. 
and this is you know a, a fairly good day-to-day -day bike with a reasonable level of performance well more you know more than you need really for uh, coming to work on but it's just nothing you nothing you know? Even if you're not in the market for that kind of bike, I urge you to have, go down to a BMW dealer and just have a go on one. Um, it'll open your eyes. It's just how good a, a naked bike can be. But it might scare you that much. Um, but you have to make bikes all together. Just from the look of it! Squeeze past this massive car. So there we go, that was the S1000R, that was my first impression. Uh, telling you my uh, my honest opinion of what I thought of it. I had a good idea what it would be like, but uh, there we go. Thanks for watching, ride safe. Um, leave any comments in the box below, and I will uh, do my best to reply to them. Cheers for now.